Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I'm going to show you how to use 2D effectors in Unity and if you're not using these already and you're building a 2D game you should definitely check them out. You may be recreating functionality that already exists. So let's just dive in and I'm going to show you how to set these up. So I'm going to start off just by creating a new scene and I'm going to take this robot that I have just pop him out on my scene. I'm going to flip him over. I want him facing right and then I'm going to add a collider. So I'll go with a capsule collider 2D. There we go. And I'm going to give him a rigid body 2D as well. And I'm going to freeze his rotation. We don't want him rolling around. I'm going to pull in the size of this collider just a little bit. And now I'm going to add a little piece of 2D art. So I'm using this platform art set. I'll have a link in the description below so you can grab it. It's totally free. Let me grab the metal piece. So I have metal center right here. And I've already set this up as a sprite. So I selected sprite and set it to full rect. And then the pixels per unit should be at about 70 for this thing. Because it's 70 by 70. So I'm going to drop it out here. And because it's full rect, I can easily tile it. So I'm going to switch draw mode from simple to tiled. And set the width to 5. Now I'm going to give this a box collider 2D. And I'm going to also set the size here to 5. And if I slide this in and out, you can see there's the collider. 5 is the exact right size. Now if I just press play, he should just fall down right on there and stop. There we go. So what I'm going to add now is a surface effector. So I'll type in surface. There we go. And if you look right here, we've got a speed option right here. This is going to give the direction that I give that it goes and how fast it goes. But there's also a warning right here saying that this isn't going to work until there's a 2D collider with used by effector checked. So I'm just going to check that box, press play, and then watch him slide along. And if I turn up this speed a little bit, Right, it goes nice and fast. So that's a pretty cool one. Again, I could go negative, so I could put in like a negative five and have him fly off to the left. And you can imagine this would be good for like a conveyor belt or some kind of moving platform type thing. So I'm gonna set it to, oh, I'll go with three. And then I wanna set up a buoyancy one. So let's, oh, didn't wanna do that. Let's open up or search down here and search for water. And we have, let's see, what's a good piece right here? We've got liquid water. Um, I think ice water is probably good. No, ice water mid. That's a good repeatable one. So I'm going to drop this out here. Again, it's set already if you take a quick look. Um, I've set this thing to sprite, full rect, and set it size to 70. And I'm going to reselect it. And I'm going to make this maybe, let's go to tiled and make it 10 wide. There we go. We got a nice wide piece of water. Drop it down pretty close in position. And I'm going to give it another box collider 2D. And then let's search for effectors. And you can see there are quite a few other effectors. We're only going to cover these two right now. And then maybe I'll do some more later. So let's add a buoyancy effector. And then let's look at the warning here. So here it says that it needs to be enabled. Right? We need the use by effector enabled. Bam. And now we also need is trigger enabled. So this thing needs to be a trigger, not a collider for the buoyancy effector. Now let me adjust the size again, set it out to 10, and I'm going to move it down a little bit just by dragging the Y offset down right about there. And let's hit play and see what happens. There we go, he falls down and he kind of bounces in the water. Now I want to move the water forward a little bit so it looks better. I'm just going to set the order up. I'll just bounce that up to 5 so it looks like he's kind of falling behind in the water. There we go, I think that looks a little bit better. And we probably wanna put another piece of water down here to just kinda of cover this and mask it off. Or if our camera was up a little bit higher, you wouldn't be able to see that either. Now there's one other thing that I would just wanna show real quick on the buoyancy effector, and that's the flow option. So we can also make the water just kinda of flow in a direction. So here we go, I've set the value to one. Let's just watch him fall over. And then he slowly just kinda of floats off to the right. There we go. We could also make this negative, you know, crank it up, make them fly back fast. And then this will all fight against your character's movement. So if we'd set up character movement here, these things would kind of push back and you know, move the character along and add a little bit of fun and complication, kind of hard stuff to our game. So again, check out the other effectors. They're all really easy to use like this and they work great. So if you're building a 2D game, definitely check them out, try them out, see what you can do. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe.